Store room shelves that have items below the par level will have a red restock alert, while shelves that have expiring items will have pink alerts. Click a shelf to expand the list of items stored on the shelf and identify the ones running low or expiring. Each inventory item is contained within a white bar. When the item is fully stocked, the bar is complete. As the inventory items are used, the bar will become shorter, giving a visual representation of the shrinking inventory. Once an item is below the par level, the name of the item will display in red and stay red until the item count is above the par level. Click Vendor Restock to begin. Here you can log all inventory orders you receive or purchase. Select which items you are restocking. Click Next. Add a new vendor or select one from the dropdown. If needed, click Add Lot next to an item received from the vendor and complete the lot information. Click Done. Click the item name and enter a quantity. Once you have entered the quantity of items received, enter the cost. Click Submit Restock. To update the count, expiration dates, or other inventory information for a specific storeroom, select Start Check. Within a check, items are organized by shelf. Click Add Lot to the right of an item. Enter the lot information or select a recommended lot to copy information from a similar item currently located in a different storeroom. Click Done when complete. Users with the Permission Manage Storeroom enabled can select Set All to PAR to update all inventory counts to the established PAR level. This can be useful to quickly remove all the red low inventory alerts when initially setting up your storerooms. Be advised that when updating counts using the Set All to PAR button, expiration dates and lot numbers are not tracked. This will automatically put all PAR levels at their expected threshold. Click Complete Check and Submit when you are finished. To view a log of all inventory actions, click Audit within a storeroom. Click any of the events to see greater detail. There are many permissions related to inventory management. If you do not see the option to perform an action described in this video, it could mean that a storeroom permission is not enabled for your role. Speak with an administrator who can review which permissions are enabled for various roles within the department.